Today, we've got some amazing news for you. Raspberry Pi just announced their new flagship product, Raspberry Pi 5. This new Pi outperforms the Pi 4 by 2 to 3 times. If you are used to the Pi 4, you might wonder what is better about Raspberry Pi 5 and what the main differences are. So here's our in-depth comparison of the two models. The most notable improvement is the raw CPU and GPU power. The Broadcom BCM2712 quad-core ARM V8 64-bit SoC of Raspberry Pi 5 is running at 2.4 GHz in comparison to the Pi 4 at 1.8 GHz. Also, Raspberry Pi 5 comes with a completely new I.O. controller and power management IC, which makes for improved connectivity. Both boards use the same 2.4 and 5.0 GHz AC wireless, Bluetooth 5.0, BLE and Gigabit Ethernet. Just like Raspberry Pi 4, Raspberry Pi 5 will be available in 4 and 8 GB variants at launch, but there might also be a 2 GB variant. The release of a 1 GB variant will depend on RAM prices. The newest Pi also has the essential 40-pin GPIO header and 2x USB 2.0 as well as two USB 3.0 ports. What's different is that the USB 3.0 ports allow for simultaneous 5 gigabits per second operation. We can observe a similar trend when looking at the micro HDMI ports and two 4-lane MIPI connectors. The micro HDMI ports are the same as for Raspberry Pi 4, but now they can output 4K video at 60 frames per second at the same time. The MIPI connectors now use the same 22-pin format as the Raspberry Pi Zero and both can be connected to either a display or a camera. A really important upgrade of Raspberry Pi 5 is the PCIe Express 2.0 interface. This enables the use of many high-speed peripherals like SSDs. It's even possible to boot the Pi from an SSD or a USB 3.0 with improved speed. The only thing that's missing is the headphone jack, which was removed for the form factor. This makes room for designated connectors for UART, a fan, and an RTC battery. Finally, there's a new feature that's going to make many of you happy, which is the power button. There's finally a power button on a Raspberry Pi, and it's connected to the power management IC, and thus it can awake Raspberry Pi 5 from deep sleep. A really nice feature is that it's also possible to awaken the Raspberry Pi 5 from deep sleep by using the real-time clock, so you can be super efficient with power usage. Let's talk a little bit about the features that distinguish Raspberry Pi 5 from its predecessor. Raspberry Pi developed a completely new I.O. controller called RP1, and they also took part in developing the Broadcom BCM2712 SoC, as well as the power management IC. This improves its efficiency due to better routing on the 6-layer PCB. It's also worth mentioning that Raspberry Pi 5's microSD slot now supports high-speed SDR104 mode, so it can reach twice the speed in comparison to Raspberry Pi 4. In my opinion, the most striking differences are Raspberry Pi 5's improved speed and connectivity. In terms of performance, you could compare Raspberry Pi 5 to a 2015 MacBook Air. Of course, you can pick up your Raspberry Pi 5 from our store as soon as they hit the market. There's a lot more about Raspberry Pi 5, so check out our other videos or blog posts if you want to learn more. Also make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see the power of Raspberry Pi 5 unleashed.